Good. Hit the line, went out of bounds. So Christian will have it back. Thirty-five twenty-seven. Christian up eight. Kohler is all for their first five. Jensma, good cross board pass, and they flip it over to Veldkamp for a wide open 10 footer. Good ball movement there. Christian up by 10 now. Christian Wolf being double teamed. Pass inside to uh, Ryan Peters, and he's uh, nowhere to go. We get a timeout to prevent the turnover. I believe that's what it was. Timeout Kohler. And a good timeout it was. Yes, it was. It saved another turnover. Once again, no, just an awful, awful start for the offense for Kohler. They find themselves down 10. As you said, Marty, they haven't scored yet. Uh, committing, uh, I have them for four turnovers again and uh, zero baskets. It's been tough sledding. I think, uh, you know, so far in the second half, it, it's again been the guard play that's that's actually hurt Kohler. Now that got him back in the game in the second quarter. But, uh, and uh, by the same token, Christian is playing very good defense. Yes, they are. And it seems like, seems like when they play better, when they play better, their defense, or when they score, their defense really increases. Now they got to have that defensive intensity all the time, but... I'll tell you what, when they're ahead, they really look tough on the defensive side of the floor. We want to apologize. We're having some technical difficulties tonight. Hopefully it isn't uh, causing too many problems with uh, your enjoyment of the broadcast, but uh, we apologize for uh, the difficulties we are having. Christian Wolf had a good look inside, but couldn't get the shot to go. And Christian got the rebound. In JV action, Sheboygan County, Christian won easily 53 to 22. The ball is uh, tapped out of bounds by Kohler. Christian will keep it. They're up 10, 37 to 27. We have three minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. Shot by Smees is no good. And a good save by Jensma, but it goes right to Kolb. He pulls up for a 10 footer and it rims out. Rebound to Veldkamp. So it's been over five minutes since Kohler has scored. A good defense by Kolb on Jensma and then we get an over and back. Fans don't like that call? No, I think they're asking that the ball was tipped. Coach Flipsy's asking the official to ask his partner, which would be the right thing to do. And his partner's saying he didn't see it. We're a team. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good idea there by Coach Flipsy. Though, you know, at least I'm glad they asked. I'm glad and they asked yeah, you know, yep. their partner. At least, he, you know, try to get it right. Good defense by uh, Christian forces Kohler to take another timeout. And uh, again, this is a, a full timeout, Scott, so let's take a 30 second break and hopefully we can come back. How do you convince a 14 year old girl that hair doesn't matter? When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. We have two games next week, starting on Tuesday, January 17th, when Marion invades Lakeland College. And then on Friday, TV8, let me see Brian Andrews. TV8 will be at uh, North when uh, Green Bay Prevalent invades the uh, Golden Raider territory. So busy weekend next week, and then the week after we have a Tuesday game, but no, no Friday game. Hmm, what's going on there, coach? The uh, war on the, the, it's 
Is that the uh, Christian that's, War? That's the Holy War. On the, the Holy show. War. That's what that is. That's what you call that. Steve Reinert on the top camera. Brian Andrews on the floor camera. Scott Meerdink in the truck. My partner Chris Wright and I'm Mike Martin and that's the crew for tonight's ball game. Christian up 10, 37-27. Kohler looking to get some points here in the third quarter. And throws it right to Jensema. Trying to clear it out of the corner, not a good pass. Jensema goes hard to the basket and lays it up and in. You're getting close to six minutes, Marty, without a single point for Kohler. Get in there. And nice running one-hander by Ryan Peters. Finally breaks the ice. And we get a whistle. Yep. Ball is on uh, John Peters. Good news is for Kohler, they're only down 10. Better news for Christian, they're up 10. Well, we don't have to worry about that not having scored in the third quarter anymore. They got that monkey off their back. The Blue Bombers did. Justin Simmons, number 20, is in the ball game. Whoa, he came very close to that line. Jensema on a spin move threw it away. Garland has it. Takes it right down Main Street, kisses it off the glass, but can't get it in. Feldkamp takes it in the lane and shoots it off the glass and in. The bank is open. That adds to uh, six of his rebounds he has already, too. Another bad entry pass. Mirdink, uh, not quite as quick as John Peters. Peters runs it down. Saves a turnover. Oh no, he doesn't really. Turnover, turnover. Yeah. Hot and heavy. And another turnover. Eric Jensema lays it up and in for an easy two. 43 to 29. Cole with a leaping shot in the lane, got it in. Scoring has been hard to come by for the Blue Bombers in the Travel. third quarter. Well, one official I think had the violation, the other official had the foul, and the foul is going to uh, override the turnover. Foul goes on Ryan Peters. Fifty-nine seconds remain in the third quarter. It's been a good quarter for the Eagles. Kohler has struggled. Fourteen to four in scoring this quarter. Eagles up by ten. Plus the two they are up at halftime gives them a twelve-point lead. Forty-three thirty-one. Well, Kohler seems to be sitting in a zone. Yep. And you're down by 12. Well, I think they did that on the inbounds, right. Chris. Now they got, now, now they're, they're stuck. stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, almost a double dribble. Down to 15 seconds and counting. Rice Keitel wanted to take the shot, but didn't. Over to Simmons, outside the line, can't get it in. Battle for the ball, coming away with it was Bogart. Full court, or three quarter court shot by Kolb is no good, and that's the end of the quarter. Christian up 12, 43 to 31.
Wisconsin. Life's so good. Call 1-800-432-TRIP or visit TravelWisconsin.com. Back at Kohler High School where the Sheboygan County Christian Eagles lead it 43-31. to Outscoring Kohler by a 14-4 to count. And uh, for a while, matter of fact, Kohler had as many timeouts that quarter as they had baskets. That's not a good thing. No, it's not. And uh, just a 2 for 10 shooting for Kohler in that quarter. Justin Meerdink and uh, Mark Kolb lead all scores with 11 each. Vinnie Adams right behind them with 10. Kolb's shot is off, no good. Justin Simmons pushes it down, nice pass inside the rice kill for an easy two. Rice Keitel, pardon me. Christian Wolf, fade away, eight footer, got it to go, nice shot by Wolf. Wolf now has seven points in the ball game. Simmons pulls it out. Christian content to run clock. They're spreading the floor. Possibly looking for some back cuts, Chris. Ball is tipped away. Peters has it. Oh, a little behind back dribble. And lays it up and in. Oh, was that pretty. Woo! Wow. For a minute there, Chris, I thought that was you out there. <laughs> Holy uh, mackerel. A nice little play there and uh, steal. And I think it's a little too early to run clock here. You only got a 10 point lead on the road and you haven't really done a great job of taking care of the ball. That's your 19th turnover. Garland picked up the foul, Chris, his third. Yeah, I think they're going, tacking a little bit more. You know, it's okay to run clock, but just make sure you're taking care of the ball. A lot of the big starters for Christian are on the bench, too. Simmons stuck underneath. Nice kick out pass. Shot is off, no good. And tipped away, and there's a scramble on the floor and a whistle. We're going to have a jump ball situation. Good hustle by those boys. Arrow points uh, Christian's way, so they'll get it. They're up 10, 45 to 35. Kohler getting a much better start to the fourth quarter, Chris. They've already got two baskets. Took them over five minutes to get their first basket after halftime. Good post-up move by Veldkamp. His shot is off, no good. Another scramble on the floor and another whistle. And this time Kohler will get it. They battled back to within one in the first half, Chris. It was... Uh, well, actually within two at 23-21 and 25-23, but they just never were quite able to get over the hump Kohler was. Wolf forces one, no good. Peters with the rebound. And we get a whistle and a hold. I think that's going to go on. Tyler Veldkamp, if it is, it's his third. Be interesting to see how long Coach Flipsy keeps uh, four of his starters on the bench. Christian muscles his way in and puts it up and in. Now they're only down eight. By the way, Kohler was able to creep within one at 25-24, but that's as close as they got. And here come the starters for Christian, as we mentioned. Ball is on Kolb, his second. Adams, Meerdink, and Smees come in. Jensma, now they ran that same backdoor cut that they did in the first half, and uh, 
Mierdink missed the easy layup. That was a little more difficult by Jensma, but he does draw the foul. Ball was on Ryan Peters, his third. Jensma looking to get the second one in. He does, that makes it 47-37. Did he make them both, huh? Yes, he did. Wow. Just that first one had my head down. Looked like it bounced off. Another whistle down on the other end. Here you go. Yeah. Tyler Smees with that foul. Yeah, his second. Kohler working the perimeter, looking to get it inside. Wolf trying to establish post position, but he's being double teamed. Yeah, it looks like a zone. There's Wolf. Nice uh, pass. Pass inside to Peters. His shot is no good. His tap is no good. Smees with the rebound for Sheboygan. Adams almost had it stolen away. Now he does lose it. Very sloppy play. Turnover after turnover. Bad pass after bad pass. Until Kolb nails a three pointer. First three pointer of the second half for either team. And now it's 47 to 40. Simmons forcing the action, but he's cut off. Mierdink has it stripped away, and Peters has it on the bust out. The shot to the hoop is no good, and then he commits the foul. No, they're going offensive foul. Yep. Well, he took it in against the tall timber, but uh, Smees, I believe it was, Got down in good position and was able to draw the charge. Forty-seven footer, forty. Christian on top. Simmons, thirteen foot jumper is off, no good. And then Smees is over the back, and uh, that'll be his third. Kohler's going to get it back. It's only the fifth team foul. On Christian, Kohler has seven. Mark Cole bringing it up deliberately, being guarded by Eric Jensma. Inside pass to Bogart, his backdoor pass is, and shot by Peters is no good. Bogart with a kiss off the glass from the left side. Body's all over the place and somehow. It's a five point game. Kohler got the basket, this could be big. Adams had a great look but couldn't get it to go. Simmons scooping it, well, shoot, shot up as he slid through the lane but it's no good and he is fouled. So he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Good drive by Justin Simmons, Chris. A little more English, he might have got that shot in. Foul goes on Chris Nemuth, number 44. No. Can't be, he's not on the floor. No, Bogart. Bogart. Kohler got the foul. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Simmons hit the first. A big couple free throws for Christian. The lead for them is now back up to seven. 49-42. And we get a timeout on the floor. I'll mention it again. TV8 has two games coming up next week. On Tuesday, we'll be out at uh, Lakeland College uh, where they'll be playing Marion. And then on Friday, Green Bay Preble invades Sheboygan North. And uh, both those games important for those teams. North already has two losses in conference going into tonight's action. They'll want to get a couple more wins under their belt. And uh, they got a host of road games ahead of them as well. North does so. Yeah. And Lakeland uh, always seems to play tough in that uh, Lake Michigan conference. And uh, 
Marion is going to be some stiff competition for him. Well, MSOE is actually leading that conference right now. And That's a surprise. <laughs> yes, it is. But uh, they're kind of a small, small little sleeper team that's been getting better and better. And uh, uh, actually talking to uh, some of the people at uh, you know Lakeland, they said that that could have maybe possibly happened. So uh, that MSOE might, MSOE might be the team to watch. But they are playing much much better basketball, people that's People in sure. the know are not surprised, but people like you, or I shouldn't say you, but people like myself, we are, I am surprised. Right, that's, but they've come a long way, and of course they have uh, Scott Murphy, Sheboygan South graduate, playing for yeah, MSOE. Nice, nice to see him again. Well, he's at MSOE, and, okay. and uh, Brian Miller, the ex-Lakeland uh, coach, is actually the coach at MSOE, so he's uh, slowly but surely brought that that group uh, that's pretty much been a doormat in that conference. Up. I had a chance to see Murph uh, last year when we went down to, uh, my wife and I went to Concordia to watch Stacy play, and then in the second game the boys played on that particular day. Simmons uh, committing a foul on John Peters. Not a bad foul, but the next one for Kohler will be in the bonus for them. Christian still has a seven point lead. Kohler's never led tonight. And uh, you mentioned they got it to within one at 25 24 just before halftime, but uh, that's as close as they've gotten. And they dug themselves a hole in that third quarter, Chris. Yeah, Christian always plays a zone out of the out of bounds play, so. Inside, nice uh, inside out pass by Wolf. Outstanding closeout by Simmons. Boulder, Cole, bullpen. Or Cole, I mean, way out there. Shot is no good. Veldkamp with the rebound to Adams. He makes a circus play over to Simmons for the layup. Nice play by Vinny Adams. 51-42. Shot by Peters is off. Boy, they could have used that hoop right there. We're under three minutes. Christian well, up nine. Well, Marty, it's been a game of runs. Christian Kohler, Christian Kohler, Christian Kohler. Christian's got the last run here and uh, it's the last three minutes. 32nd time out by Sheboygan County Christian. You know, you mentioned about uh, game of runs. The problem is Christian's runs have been longer than Kohler's runs. Yep, and they have, they've got the last couple here and uh, whoever gets the ball last wins and uh, that's the case right now for Christian. Kohler's in a situation here where they really got to put play pressure ball and uh, no, take some chances and maybe even start falling. Not quite yet, but you know, you got to gamble. I was just thinking though, you know, this time out might be the start of uh, pull it out and spread the floor and you know, look for backdoor cuts, that kind of thing. It looked like they tried to do that. I don't know if it was right at the beginning of the fourth quarter, but you know, they definitely had the floor spread and uh, that was too, too early to bring it out, though. You're right. You, and you had mentioned that at the time. Well, I just... With the amount of turnovers you had tonight, you got to take care of the ball a little bit. And here well, they do spread it out a little bit. Simmons has been a spark plug. He's gotten a couple of baskets, or four points, I should say. Offensive foul on Christian. Yeah, Simmons with a blocking foul, I believe it was. Ball is on number 50, Meerdink. His third. They had a good shot of Larry Campman and Jeff Wolf. Larry's uh, Larry's been coaching the JV team as long as Dessel's been at North. Wow. 20, 29 years. Another turnover. And he's a long, long, long foot time football official as well. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I thought you were going to say a long, long, long softball player in Sheboygan softball because <laughs> he's been there too. Christian running clock. We're at uh, two minutes. Actually, 2.01 as the foul is committed by Mark Kolb. And uh, boy, he took a pretty good shot when he reached in. Fall on Kolb is his third. Now Justin Simmons has had a nice fourth quarter, Chris. Matter of fact, he has scored the last four points 
for the Eagles. He's got to make this one to get the second, however. Clutch. Yep, rattle that baby in. 52-42. Christian up 10. And 11. Justin Simmons coming up big here in the fourth quarter. Has six points in the game. All of them coming in the fourth quarter. Ryan Peters has it, being guarded closely by Adams. Dump down pass to Wolf, and we're gonna get an offensive foul. Well, big guy like that, when he moves in and the other guy goes flying, you're almost doomed to get that offensive foul. Kohler on the full court pressure. Under a minute and 50. Feldkamp going hard. Cut off. And it's stolen away by Kolb. He's going to take it hard to the hoop. Puts it up. And it rolls off. Justin Simmons is going to draw the foul. Christian now has 22 turnovers. Last thing you want by Coach Flipsy squad is a turnover and a three point play on the other end. And we almost had both those bad things happen, but Cole missed the layup and now missed the free throw. That was the first free throw attempt by Kohler in the second half. Pops that one in, 10 point deficit. Simmons, not a good play there, threw it out of bounds. Oh, and he's gonna say, tipped off of both players, and he's calling a jump ball, and possession arrow points Christian's way. So they're gonna keep it. I would say that still should be a turnover though. Of course, I suppose not, because they keep the ball. Yep. I was thinking because they lost the possession arrow on the play. Jensma, leaping leaner, no good. Meerdank had it knocked away, but Jensma gets it back and then. Wow, I think he's out of bounds. Peters stole it. Kolb going hard. I think he got away with a walk, but he got yeah. himself a layup. I don't know how many more uh, timeouts Coach Wolf has, but uh, he's just about done. But good tries there by Christian on this end. Meerdank hitting the offensive glass, but. Uh, just well, couldn't get anything to roll. No, there's one one minute and eight seconds remaining. With that basket, Kohler pulled within eight. It's 53-45, but it's a pretty tall order to uh, overcome this deficit. But three-point baskets loom large in these kinds of situations. Yeah, three-point baskets, you gotta take care of the ball. Other bonus thing for Christian right now is they are in the double bonus, which is a, is a very positive thing, so that should should help every time they get to the free throw line. And I don't think I'd foul uh, Justin Simmons if I was Kohler right now. That guy's been pretty much clutch at the line. And uh, I'd choose somebody else. As you mentioned, Marty, a good comment. Justin Simmons is having an outstanding quarter. Mark Kolb has uh, 17 points in the ball game. He's having a fine night. You know, as I mentioned that about Justin and his fine play, you know, he committed a couple of turnovers. Well, taking away from his uh, earlier exploits. Tossing it in will be Tyler Veldkamp. Simmons has it. Vinnie Adams taking his time and then he's fouled. And uh, he'll be shooting two now there in a super bonus. Foul goes on Christian Wolf. Well, they got a different player up there, but Adams has been pretty clutch tonight, too. Nice Adam, first half for Adams. Yeah, he had 10. 
He had eight in the first half. He had uh, the first basket of the second half to give him 10, and that free throw now gives him 11. So he's been silent through most of the second half after that uh, first basket. Well, he looks sweet from the line there. Christian's been clutch. They've made their last eight free throws, all 10 free throws here in the second half. Peters, no good. Peters had it stripped away, but he is fouled. Tyler Veldkamp uh, on the strip. Four falls on him. John Peters can't get the free throw to go. And Kohler's missed a bunch of free throws. They certainly have. But they haven't had a lot of chances. <laughs> What's that, four in the... Four here and a half. This is going to be number four right here. Oh. They've hit one out of three. And that one was woefully short. And wow. tipped away from Jensima. Kohler keeps it. Basket is good by Ryan Peters and another quick timeout by the Bombers. Well, Kohler has life, Chris. Well, but those free throw misses do hurt. Yep, if he would have hit one, it'd just be a seven point game, but. Uh, there you see the situation. Christian up, they have 55 points. Kohler, of course, with 47, but uh, under a minute. Now, if you don't get the quick steal on the inbounds, do you do the quick foul thing? I think you're uh, trying to delay this game as long as possible. So yes, I would say you got to foul right away. Got to play in front though. Last time what they did is they snuck Justin Simmons from half court and he kind of went right towards the ball and got the ball, which is a is a good decision there. Everybody else was covered up. I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, Meerdink took a step up towards the ball and then broke back about two steps. You'd have been wide open had he kept going, but he changed to come back near the ball again. I think uh, a guy like that might be open on the deep out. Yeah. <laughs> or, the, or is it the deep post? <laughs> In either case, Kohler better look out for the long one. Belkamp make, made a good decision though there before not turning the ball over. I mean, he's real sure. Watch for uh, Simmons now. Good but substitution there, bringing Garland back in and uh, yep. he's a little quicker than uh, Wolf. You can't bring in a substitute. Until a second has run off. No. I'm not sure Garland. Yeah. You can't do that because you got to bring them in basically before the timeout. Before the timeout's over, that's right. So the substitution happened too late. So now you just don't guard the inbounder. You want to take away all the long passes, and they're doing a good job, and there's Ooh. your turnover. Well, they wanted the long pass, but uh, Wolf read it well. Cold from outside the line, no good. Wolf on the reach, but couldn't get it. Strips it away from Adams, but no. Jensema still has it. And good fall by Kohler to prevent Veldkamp from getting an easy two. Well, they got the turnover. Kohler, that is. But uh, Kolb couldn't bang home the three. And uh, a new, new person to uh, clutch up at the free throw line. Drew Bogart picks up his third. Another free throw. Sweet. Man, a life. When was the last time we saw a free throw shooting like this? Shh. Talk about it after the game. Slap my mouth. That's in though. Oh, yeah. Martin, you. Huge... 56 47. Christian up nine. Another foul. Ball, I believe, is going to be on John. No, it isn't. It's going to be on uh, Mark Kolb, and that's his fourth. Adams to the line. Shooting two. 27.8 seconds remaining. Christian up 10. And... Uh, the way they've been shooting their free throws this game is, uh, you would think, is pretty well in the bag for them. Oh, 
58-47. They didn't put, oh now they put the score up. Yeah, they've been, every once in a while, they've been a little slow on getting things registered. Ryan Adams no good, John Adams no good, and then a whistle. I think that's gonna go on Christians Meerdink. And of course I was wrong. If it's on Veldkamp, that's his fifth. And I believe that's what the horn was all about. Last fall was on Tyler Veldkamp, and that's his fifth. Coming in for him will be Tyler Smees. Seven big rebounds, though, for Veldkamp tonight. Oh, boy. One out of five in the second half free throw shooting. One out of six. Wow. Kohler gets the rebound, though. Cold. Shot off the glass is no good. Simmons skying for the rebound, and that's going to be the ball game. Sheboygan County Christian wins it, 58 to 47. In a turnover laden game. We're gonna step out for a minute when we come back. Hopefully Chris will have a couple of interviews and I'll have the final scoring from tonight's ball game. Looking for a part-time job that'll help pay for college? Consider one that can do that and a lot more, the Air National Guard. We've got the Montgomery GI Bill and a special cash bonus that can help get you through college and training that can put you on course for an impressive full-time job, the Air National Guard. It's money for college and fuel for your future. Call 1-800-2-GO-ANG. Let's play a game. Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. Drivers face all kinds of distractions. Guys, 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 guys. Stop, stop playing, no? I'm 127 consecutive. Before your wireless... <laughs> Drive safely. Keep your phone in easy reach and dial sensibly. In bad weather or traffic, call later and use a hands-free device. Remember, with wireless, safety is your call. Back at Kohler High School where the Eagles from Sheboygan County Christian defeated Kohler 58-47. Standing by is Chris Wright. Hey, a uh, couple happy Christian players here. Uh, John, quick stretches today. You guys came out with quick starts. First quarter, nice quick er, er, big lead there. Third quarter, you shut them down real fast. Uh, you got to like that. Yeah, that's something coach really stretches every day in practice. Defensive intensity and rebounding. We just work to get out intense every quarter. Well, you, you did. You really got out to a real fast start, and, you know, I think you hit it right on the head. It seemed like when the baskets were going in and the lead was getting more, the uh, defense really was stepping up. Like I said, every day in practice, we stress it. We got to just take it one game at a time. Down the stretch tonight, uh, you guys hit a ton of free throws in a row. I think you only missed one in the entire second half. You know, in a close ball game like this, or when you have to hit free throws, uh, you really got the job done. Free throws have helped us and hurt us all season, and... That's just something that helped us tonight. Well, congratulations. We'll see you in a couple weeks when we uh, take on Lutheran. Uh, half, second half of the season, you've got a couple losses already. You can't fall behind uh, Lutheran anymore. Got to take one game at a time, or is that too much of a cliche? Um, well, I mean, our, our priority was this week, and we really needed the two wins this week, and we got them. So now we can really 
just focus on uh, Oostburg on Thursday, and then Lutheran for the second time. We really want that game. Yeah, you got. Uh, I know you got Lutheran coming up in in a couple weeks at home. Uh, tough game, you know, to go on the road and play a team like Kohler. And as I was mentioning to John, those quick starts today and the quick offensive shooting must, you know, really got you guys going and on track. Yeah, definitely. Um, we need. I mean, we need the intensity, and uh, we we definitely came out with it uh, in the first beginning of the game, beginning of the second half. That really gave us a boost, and uh, we're really happy about that. Yeah, you get a lot of con contributions from a lot of players. You get a lot of guys that get like 10, 11 points, 8 points. You don't really have one that standout player. Uh, you know, that, that really helps with the team concept, and, you know, everybody's contributing, really. Yeah, that's definitely a big. Uh, one, of our, one of our problems has been finding – Finding it all, putting it all together, and so it's, I mean it's evens out. But once we once we get everyone going at the same on the same page at the same time, that's when we that's when we play well. Well, congratulations. As I said, we'll see you in a couple weeks against Luther. Hey, this team is uh, picked for second in the league at the beginning of the year. They they look really impressive tonight. I think the rest of the CLC's got something to look forward to in the next couple weeks. We'll send it back to Marty. Good job on the interviews, Chris. Let's go through some of the scoring from tonight's ball game. Leading the Christian Eagles was Tyler Adams with 14 points. He was followed by John Meerdink with 11. And then uh, Tyler Veldkamp and Eric Jensma each had nine. Coming up with a real strong fourth quarter was Justin Simmons. He had six points, and uh, he made some good defensive plays. Leading Kohler in scoring was uh, Mark Kolb. He had 17 points, but probably the story of the ball game, and Chris alluded to it in the interviews with the two young men, was the free throw shooting. Christian made 13 out of 14 free throws, and uh, that really sewed up the ball game. They were able to jump out to a bit of a lead in the third quarter and, and maintain that mostly on the strength of their free throw shooting. Our next ball game is going to be, and we mentioned this a couple times, is going to be next Tuesday when Marion invades Lakeland College, and then Friday we'll be at North High when Preble invades there. Uh, for the crew, I want to say great job for them. Thanks a lot for watching. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying so long, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you down the road.